Welcome to the Power Packed Podcast. Please be quiet and courteous and silence your cell phones now. Be sure to grab some snacks and concessions, located in the lobby. And now our feature presentation. Prepare for better. So I clap and clap and clap. Yeah. No, that's all you, all you can do when you don't. So you're saying you lost your oars and you're going down the stream. Yeah. Instead of maybe, instead of paddling the boat, you, you're leaning over the back and you're just clapping in the water trying to propel oh, it that way. It's like a it's rudder system. Powered. Yeah. You know. That's how they oh. used to do it in the Viking days. They'd have a bunch of Vikings tied to a rope, and they dangled them off the boat, and they just clapped the water. Yeah, it was like and a, it, like a, you know, um, what you call it? Ski? Uh, I I don't know. I can't think. Oh, sled dogs. Yeah. So I was thinking that concept, but a bunch of people behind the boat, and they're just clapping. You know. Yeah, sled dogs. Sled dog millionaire. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> We missed last week, elephant in the room. Oh, we ki- we killed that elephant for show. But there'll probably be more elephants because it's the holiday season. The holiday, holiday season. season. It so is. Who knows? It's gonna be spotty, probably. I would think. Well, what matters is somewhat consistency. So I think because I think for a little bit. Um, we so we were doing them about every week and then we like didn't for a little bit and then we got back into the weekly thing and then this is the first last week was the first week of not doing the podcast um i think we've only missed like two weeks this year so that's not bad so you guys can stuff it all you complainers out there huh yeah Uh i noticed the uh the followers are still going up just about um you know in a good amount of numbers and uh and i mean we're still getting content out there and most importantly the album is almost done it is at a very good state yes yes um so yeah so we are the pop back podcast podcast featuring two dudes and one almost finished album oh yeah no our friendship everything is is like that album and yeah it's been it I don't think I've ever worked on any project for this long (laughs) and just like something where you're like, I'm going to work on this. And it's just, it's weird even listening to the mixes because we started recording them. Like, I don't know, like three or four years ago or something, something crazy. It's just, it's, it's been too long. I think it's been longer than that. Cause we started when we, I was at, we were at the movie theater. So 2013, right. was, kind of movie theater times that was that was the the peak and didn't we write ill top during that or was it after that it was like right no i think it was during that's when we got it did you have dreads at the movie theater i didn't but i did after so oh that was okay i remember what you're talking about so we recorded ill top on my ipad i think or or you had cubase or something uh, oh, I did not have Cubase. It was Audacity. <laughs> oh, okay, yep. Yeah. So I think the first Ill Top demo, like the one that's on like YouTube, like on your channel, where it's like you have it, it says like Ill Cosby or whatever. That was from like 
2014. So we could technically say JJ Fresh has been around since like 2013, 2014, um, I would say. Yeah, we're a dynasty. We are a dynasty. Point. But that's a really JJ. long time, honestly, uh, to be, you know, to have a project. And I think if I'm, well, we could do another podcast once the album's released. Maybe that can be episode 100 as we just talk about the album. Um, if I get it done by then. But I think, yeah, 2013, 14 is when we, because it, you you guys were staying at that house, right? There was like a house in Canby. You like, it was like renting, right? Yeah, we were in the uh, the shelter, the, the bunch of bunch of boys and gals living in a house. The boys and gals. Got a bunch of cats and they always eat the mouse. Eat the mouse uh, in the house. Yeah, I remember going yeah. over there with my iPad and we're like, yo, let's, let's, let's make some music. And then we came up with ill top nine. And then ever since then, it's been just, just music galore. And then we, I feel like in like 2016 ish, we started writing all the other songs like butter and oh, oh good night. Greg was good night. Greg. That was, yeah, it's uh, another banger right there. Banger. Oh, cause then, so is the per- Sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself. The progression was we first started making the music at that that den, you know, like I said, the house for the boys and girls. And then yes. a couple years later, the most famous and awesome place is the apartment you guys were at in Canby. That's where pretty much almost all the JJ Fresh content was born, was that apartment. And then that's when we started writing a bunch of songs, I think. Do sororities have costume contests? Like college frats? Yeah, I think so. I think they do. Do they do they have costume contests versus each other, like the alphabets versus the beta boys? Do they have like our costumes will be better than yours? Do they have competitions? I mean, they probably do. Yeah, because you know what would win is if one house banded together and made you know the human centipede as their costume. <laughs> Because it'd be the whole house. It'd be like 30 of them. Yeah. And it'd kind of be like the Chinese dragon sort of a thing. You know how there's like 10 people and it makes this dragon costume? It'd be a version yeah. of that. But are you talking like the, the human centipede version of that? Is that what you're saying? No, it, they'd be in a giant centipede. and So not like the gross way. Yeah, okay. But when uh, you explain it to people the first time, you tell them y'all are going to be a human centipede. And then they give you the, ew, gross. But then you explain that, no, it's like the Chinese dragon, but just imagine the dragon is a centipede. Yeah. And then call him yeah. perv and slap them and then walk yeah, away. Exactly. Is this, a, is this like a post-Halloween thought or was this a pre-Halloween thought you had here? No, I, I was just thinking like, because we lived in a house full of dudes and some ladies and it's like what how weird would it be if as a group because we did mario as our group theme costume how weird would it be to be the human centipede costume and now i'm talking the nasty version like how weird would that be it's (laughs) it's like you're sending pictures to your family look what we were for halloween and it's (laughs) like your house is (laughs) the human centipede like all your friends yeah (laughs) it's like that's so gross yeah i like the idea of because you know people will do like the basic halloween pictures of them and their friends at like a house you know when they're you know maybe like 20s but this one you guys are all like <laughs> you're all like taped uh face to you know what and <laughs> just crawling around you're like happy halloween from the from the dude din the yeah you know and it's like all, all these provocative costumes nowadays well, now we have a costume that's both provocative and scary. The human centipede. It's the best of both worlds. Exactly. It's the Miley Cyrus <laughs> of, of make-believe. So <laughs> that's, that's pure poetry right there. And yeah, I, uh, I thought it was funny. I feel like I always get um, really interesting texts from you, but I think your, your Halloween one was... In particular, that one was very that was very good. Oh I, yeah. yeah. About so were you at like give me some backstory. This is perfect content for this because I mean we can't we can't really do a Halloween episode because it already passed, but we can talk we about missed it. Yeah, we missed the boat. But you should tell us about your text because I, I want to know backstory of that. I feel like that's a good story. So uh okay. 
to I'm gonna throw this in here because I might forget this detail. Uh, Evil Knievel came back, and yes, that does mean another Chinese buffet was tried at this place. But oh. that's that's later. Wait, wait <laughs> okay. Should we talk about that now? I feel like that's that's kind of important. I don't. Let's let's do that later. <laughs> okay, that'll be that'll um, be episode ninety five. So we'll come back to that. Yeah, that'll be our cliffhanger. Uh, no, so it was like a a Halloween uh in the park sort of a thing it wasn't in our town it was in a different town and uh so she was volunteering for that the missus she's like come up and help after you're off work it'll be fun and i was like okay so i get up there to this town which is smaller than our town i think the population there is like i want to say five thousand. i'm not sure uh and so like we're in this park and it's kind of set up to where all these tents and venues and businesses are in a circle in this park and people walk a path and they just get candy and stuff and i was like there's some interesting sights to behold here and i'm not a tweeter boy so i'm just going to live tweet it to josh he's my oh. one follower so I was just texting Josh. <laughs> the one Twitter, the one Twitter yeah. follower. That's pretty accurate if you think about it. Like that's that's how I feel too. Is like, okay, my one person who will listen is John. So yeah, so I just thought I'd fill you in on what I was seeing at the uh, the festivities, the Halloween event, candy thing. It was like trick or treating, but it was before Halloween, and it was in a controlled environment. So exactly controlled, and that's good. That's a very safe and a mature approach to that and then i was gonna say which one was your favorite um character that you saw like favorite costume if you had to rate let's say you're doing the costume contest and you're rating it uh who would you pick as your number one i guess um well let me pull up those texts so i could get a little refresher yeah um, definitely refresh it okay okay yeah like the, the toy story one was a little disturbing <laughs> That one was uh, hilarious. That one made me laugh. That was my favorite. I think. <laughs> just text wise, that was a just a good way with words. Uh, let's see. I don't know. The the toilet was pretty clever. It was kind of just you dressed up as a toilet, but you put the candy in the bowl and it closed. Oh, that's pretty really like clever. Like, it was like one of those I, I think it was like an inflatable sort of a costume, but Yeah. I don't know, but it was yeah. funny that there was like a guy who looked like he was on drugs standing yeah. off the path with all these neck tattoos, smoking a cigarette, like f- two feet from these kids. From the children. <laughs> yeah. So that's what I was curious about. Was he part of the party or was he just lingering? I don't know. There was a couple of those types of fellas. Uh, Are you guys? So that's what I was wondering. Were you closer to St. Louis or were you? No, we were, we were the other direction we were farther away <laughs> farther away okay and we we were like st louis has like pew pew bang bang and then when you get farther away people are just bored and do meth so <laughs> it's <laughs> is that the 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 romance of um i feel like that should be like the the midwest story is like when people get bored they do meth i mean that's what people do over in oregon washington too in the rural areas yeah, right? Like, and when you get together, you shoot each other. That's what cities are. So you can't, you know, have your cake and eat it too. And do you want to get shot or do you want to get hooked on drugs? Like, that, those yeah. are your options in 2021. You, really, you only have two options, really. So it's like, you can, it's kind of the matrix, you know, you pick the pill. It's like, it's like <laughs> Midwest or, you know, rural area. It's like, uh, get shot, do meth. <laughs> like one pill is in the shape of a bullet and the other pill is in the shape of like a corn husk. And oh, like, I want to yeah. eat the corn husk and it teleports you to some rural meth town. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. It teleports you and then you're just like instantly, you're wearing like the white wife beater and like the Kirkland jeans um i don't know why i just thought kirkland jeans i don't know that just seems thinning for because if you're in iowa you're probably gonna get your clothes from costco and you're probably gonna do meth (laughs) yeah costco clothes that's a it's an interesting i don't know how i feel about it like i've bought and bought and bought i've gotten clothes from there but i I never know if it's good or not even after wearing it for a long time i'm like is this is this i don't like it's just i don't know what's this 
I can't explain Costco clothes. I I can't either. I know. I I think Costco is a cool place. I think it's cool that they have everything, and they also have great food. It's like you know, recently um, Andrea and her mom went to Costco. But I was joking that my favorite part of going to Costco is not going at all and having someone else go because it's just, Mm. it's, I don't know, maybe it's better that way, but around here, just because it's located, we're really close to such a big city, it's just absolute like pandemonium when you're trying to get there. And especially on a weekend, it's, um, I don't know, I'd almost rather be like, um, I haven't seen it yet, but, uh, no, maybe I shouldn't make this comment. <laughs> I was going to say, I haven't seen Squid Game yet. No, uh, I haven't either. You haven't either? Okay. Cause, but what I've seen from the trailers, what people describe, I was going to say I'd rather be there than at Costco. <laughs> <laughs> so basically yeah. just being like, you know, yeah. So. Um, no, I agree. Costco's a madhouse every time we go. It's crazy. But yeah, coming back to that, they have great stuff. I think Costco is a very great place, just not so great for me but the clothes yeah i always when i think of when i'm making jokes you know you know this is kind of a comedy podcast i don't know it's like but when i think of jokes and things and i think of just clothes that i want to make fun of i think of costco like kirkland you know jeans or shoes or whatever um but i don't know i don't want to just because that might be someone's fresh drip you know they might like their favorite thing is you know they they get head to toe costco they might just be like hat like jacket pants shoes all costco and i'm sure like that some exists. people some people rock nike and they're proud of it some people just have kirkland logos and they're like yeah boy <laughs> yeah, boy. yeah. Do i shop wholesale yeah <laughs> got 20 of these shirts <laughs> yeah i can just <laughs> rotate <laughs> through them no that's the buddy part yeah they can they've got the the outfit picked out it's just like every you know cartoon like king the hill or family guy you know they wear the same clothes that's what I imagine. They're like, all right. And that's probably most like dads or grandpas um, in like Iowa or whatever. They're just like, I got their closets just filled with the same Kirkland stuff that they went and got, you know, in 1994. <laughs> and they're like, all right, I'm ready. Let's do this. It's like, oh, yeah. It's going to last me forever. Like yeah. a Stanley mug. Going to have yeah. my coffee and my Kirkland. Coffee Kirkland and Kirkland. And Kirkland. Yeah. <laughs> now that is a... I like that most of our ideas, this is like our, our idea board is this podcast, but I think coffee and Kirkland should be a name of our song on a new album. And it's kind of like a coffee house song. And we just talk about, just talk about Kirkland. Kirkland it's like Phoebe in the coffee shop, the central perk. Yes. You see that man over there working. He's got his coffee and his Kirkland. <laughs> speaking of just that i've been listening to i don't know why but just to get ready for elon musk to mars i've been listening to a lot of country music but more like old like very old country music like 60s yeah you sent me conway twitty (laughs) yeah exactly you're like why did you send me this but i just want to get i'm uh i don't know like when i'm writing songs and things for this particular Cause not as much for like my own music. I kind of just like, it's just its own deal. But when I'm writing theme themed music, like for JJ fresh or for like a project that requires that I like to like tap into the roots, you know? And cause I don't mm. want to listen to none of this, like unless we're making a new school country, but this song, it needs like old school country. And I think some, some Conway Twitty and some things like that. <laughs> it's just, yeah. It's just you're like a, you're like a chameleon. I throw you in a pot of water, you turn into a lobster. I throw you in the grass, you turn into a, a little mole. You know, yeah. I throw you in the trees, you start sprouting wings. You're just that guy. You can uh-huh. you can become what the world needs you to be. Yeah. You're Batman. Well, so well, well thank you. That is that's the highest compliment I could possibly receive, especially from especially from talented boy like yourself. So thank uh-huh. you. Oh, and we should probably let the people know real quick. I know we told them we're doing three short episodes. Uh, Three, this is a triple rat, a first one. They're each going to be about 20 minutes, so be ready for little shorties. Huh? Okay, like the cupcakes of podcast right here. Not giving you the whole, not the whole Costco cake. We're breaking it down, little cupcakes from uh, your Western family. They don't have Western family here. What do they got? Uh, Uh, Some name brand. 
Yeah, name brand cupcakes that the frosting yeah. is that nasty stuff that stains your teeth and it's ooh yeah. It's really light but in a bad way. Yeah. Almost like no. a Yeah. Like a what's the word I'm looking for? It's like fake. It's uh like a fancy word for fake. It's uh artificial. It's artificial, like this artificial, yeah. Yeah, it's artificial fluff chemical. Yeah. It's like if icing came in a spray can, they just I, yeah. Does it come in a spray can? I know uh, it comes yeah. in tubs, like the Pillsbury's in tubs. I don't know, probably. Um, I know Pillsbury. cheese is in a spray can. I know you can get you can make the icing and put it in that little <laughs> triangle bag, like the trash bag, and yeah, cut a corner. Trash, yeah, the, the <laughs> icing trash bag. Yeah, of course. Ice, icing in a can. No, wait. Uh, oh no, it does come in a spray can. Okay, uh. it's like it's like if they put spray paint. And icing in a can together. Oh, ew. That's, so like that's, the little okay. ball. <laughs> yeah, let me... Because sh- you know the kind of icing I'm talking about, store brand. Yeah. It's the worst icing ever. Whenever I see someone who buys a cake and it has that icing, I'm just like, it's so no, it's, nasty. It's the absolute worst, honestly. Um, and now I'm not going to be able to find it. Uh, that's. I guess this is it. All right, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and post two pictures on the podcast content. One is what I think is the icing I'm talking about. I'll just post it on pictures. Um, and the other yeah, is like, up. yeah, legitimate icing. So you have your breakfast. Let's see. I'm going. I'm checking it out right now. So it's under pictures. So the first picture is like that nasty spray can, just metallic y staining icing. The second picture is that thick, like creamy, oh, yeah. homemade, dense oh, yeah. icing that's that like doesn't butter stain cream. your teeth. Buttercream, yeah, you don't, yeah. yeah. Like I so, don't want that graffiti on my teeth. So no, you don't want the teeth, teeth, teeth graffiti. And I, so Andrea is like amazing, prolific, prolific baker, and she makes she usually makes like buttercream frosting, and that's the. That's the stuff, you know, but I know what you mean. The first one, same as those cookies or the cupcakes, that icing is just straight up like rat poison. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You married yeah. Joe Baker Fresh over there making that icing. <laughs> All right. Album number two has to have Joe Baker Fresh on it or I... We got we to gotta yeah. recreate it for sure. Yeah. I think we can. Um, Let me I introduce to you my man, Joe Baker. <laughs> Yeah. The mistake maker or something. <laughs> the mistake maker or something. Uh, yeah, there's if some customer good ones. service was a line of Coke, uh, I think Joe Baker would overdose or something. Yes, <laughs> like, yes. Oh, I, I think I have, I think I have like the real rough demo because we made Joe Baker fresh like around the same time as. Uh, I think um, you s- emailed me the demo. You did something. And I think I there's think a copy floating it. around. I think it's in my old email. Um, let me look. I will do that and I'll try to find it. I know right. it exists somewhere. And no, I want to re-recreate that for the second album. Uh, and yeah, I because that one, you know, I was thinking about it. That one was um, definitely around the time of Illtop. Because I remember I came over and I made the beat on my iPad on GarageBand. And we both were working at JCPenney's at the time, I think, mm. too. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So, um, well, let's transition into episode 95. Uh, and I'm going to leave everyone with a cliffhanger. Remember how John was talking about his buffet story? Well, you'll find out about that next week. Thank you for tuning into our regularly scheduled program. Contact Josh and Jonathan at powerpackedpodcast at gmail.com. Support the show at patreon.com slash powerpacked. See you next time, you dirty little rat babies.